Today I want to take a second to discuss backup guns. And not necessarily a backup gun as in, well, I'm running out of bullets now, I need another gun. Not as in having two guns, but just having a gun that's a backup. More thinking like, well, maybe as a spare. Because I know a lot of people when they think backup gun, they think, that sounds kind of paranoid. It kind of sounds like, I'm afraid I'm going to lose a gunfight because I don't have enough bullets. Or uh, I just need two guns on me to have a fair chance. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having an extra gun in case you need it. And by in case you need it, I mean your primary gun's not there anymore. Now let's talk about like what happened to me today. This is what made me want to do this video. I went to the gun shop. I decided I'm going to have some sights put on my carry gun, some new sights. And I want to give the gunsmith some business, so I'll let him do it. You know, buy some sights, get them put on, gives him a little extra money, upgrades my carry gun. But, you know, problem with that is once I take the slide off my gun, leave the slide with him, which I obviously have to do if he's going to put sights on it, I'm left without a gun for the rest of the day. I wasn't in a position where I could go home and get another gun. I was out and about for the day. I was quite away from home, and I had a lot of other things I had to do, including go to lunch in not the best area of town. So, and unfortunately, good restaurants are often in the not the best area of town. So I had a choice to make. Go without a gun or have a backup gun in my car. I have a backup gun in my car. I keep a little safe in my car. Now, a lot of people don't like keeping guns in their car. They think it's unsafe. Well, really, when you think about it, my car has an alarm. It's mobile. It's not usually in the same place all the time. It's usually in a very visible spot. So a lot of people will say, and a lot of insurance agents will agree with them, that cars are actually very safe places. Oftentimes, they're safer than leaving things at home. Your home doesn't go anywhere. It's usually got areas of entry that people can't see, and people feel pretty safe once they're in it that they're hidden from sight for people outside. So often, a car can be just as safe as a home, if not safer. So I I take the necessary precautions. I have a safe that's well mounted and hidden. People can't see it and if they do see it it's not easy to get into. So those are the necessary precautions I take to keep the gun safe in the car and I'm glad I did. So luckily I was able to walk outside after giving him the slide, take the rest of my gun that I have left over, the frame, the barrel and everything, take it out, put it in a safe and take my extra gun out of the safe and put it on. And that gun is my little Glock 33 which I keep in the safe in my car as a backup gun. It's a great gun. I keep a little holster, a little RKBA Kydex holster with it. So I'm ready at any time to undo my belt, slide on a new holster, slide in my backup gun. So because I had my Glock 33 in the car as a backup gun, I was able to go about my day still being armed, still being able to defend myself if the need arose. Now it didn't arise, but that's every day. That's every day it doesn't arise, but I still like to be prepared just in case. So, you know, having that backup gun in the car isn't necessarily paranoid. It isn't saying, I need two guns because, you know, I'm going to have to shoot it out both handed, or I might not have enough bullets in this gun, I might have to go to this one, or this one might be not to be sufficient, and I need a more powerful one. It's just saying, sometimes things might happen where I don't have my gun, and it's nice to have a spare.